It's 4.15 on Monday morning. I um, can't say anything because it's very dark because the uh, electrical fire that was on the ground has finally burned itself out after being on for about 10 minutes. I called 9-11 and um, they said the Radnor Fire Company would come out. Wire is down on the ground again. The fire company came and went. The police came and went. Pico's been told and now it's back on again. It is... It's dawn's coming. Our fire's still burning. Yeah, I did. They've been out. Dawn's come. Our fire's still on. Around 4 a.m., the 14,000 volt wire caught fire again. Radnor police came out with these baggers up. It's now after dawn on Monday. This fire's burning. That's 14,000 volts on the ground, I believe. I don't think this is safe to leave this in such a situation. I think someone should get Pico to turn the power off until they have time to come out and fix this. Actually now, the fire's up in the tree too. teeny bits of fire up there in the tree near the telephone wires. So we have fire up in the tree. I don't know how it got up there, but it's up there. And then we have the 14,000 volt electrical flare, fire, whatever you want to call it, burning away on the ground on West Wayne Avenue after dawn on Monday. And the only public safety warnings are the two barriers Radnor police left here. with the homemade sign on them that I put on. I don't think that's adequate. My cousin told me once that the top wires are 14,000 volts and that's what wire is on the ground. Someone should get Pico to turn the power off again. You know, it's really weird, I think, that this doesn't trip a fuse somewhere. Because, you know, sometimes if a branch touches one of these wires, we lose power. And yet, no fuse trips is tripping this thing? Hmm. That's a puzzle. So we're deciding, I'm deciding, I think this is getting worse as it progresses. I'm not quite sure how bad it has to get before they decide it's really bad. But this is nuts.